I didn't want to stop those people. I hated everyone anyway. But him? I wish I knew why he lit the matchstick. This story belongs to him. Baghead, 197A. A member of the Senate. A perfect citizen of Shirkoa. I wonder what took them so long to reach such utopia. It's been ages since the city has seen a glimpse of gloom. Shirkoa prohibits immigrant creatures from the alleys of misfits. You see, it wasn't always this peaceful. Before the intellectuals had taken over, the city was a mess. Immigrants were all over like a plague. A plague without a cure. Here came back, though, and its name was the Bag Act. Solo con bolsas. Nada de alas, nada de aletas. Las criaturas serán crucificadas y los que lleven una bolsa en la cabeza serán salvados. Dios a mí, hermanos. Evolucionemos juntos. The architects of perfect societies will look back and wonder what took them so long to understand the power of bags. my home, the Blue District. Anti-immigrant laws are softer in these areas, which brings more customers. This is where we met. An old bar where little-known immigrant revolutionaries used to hang out a long time back. In my line of work, an alias is everything. Mine is Little Whore. You wouldn't believe how well it sells. He was an unlikely customer. A level A baghead would never come to this swamp. But he was different. His warmth always gave me comfort. His innocent mannerisms cheered me up. We never spoke a word. And for a time, it was good. So backhands, the next time you see an intellectual, praise them for their genius and give them a great big thank you. Also, a great to have them capture those low-life immigrants. This message is brought to you by the living intellectuals in the Shirkoan government. Perfection can be a little unforgiving sometimes. Perhaps it's an evolutionary anomaly. One Sunday, for completely intellectual reasons, he decided to jump off. And she ruined my solace forever. Her real name remains unknown. People recall her as the White Witch.
Pilots are coming. It's time to enlist. visited me again. It was a brutal winter. I didn't know he was a candidate. The city was vomiting posters and propaganda everywhere. Why is he doing this? Why is he dating a suspicious girl? She doesn't wear shoes sometimes. I have seen myself. His colleagues have already warned him. He knows he would be publicly executed if she turns out to be an immigrant. Not to mention the public outrage that will follow. He turned her in. A genius. No wonder he is a member of the Senate. Perfection can be a little unforgiving sometimes. Perhaps it's a spiritual anomaly. Beelzebub. Was he hiding or did he become one? Oh, oh, oh. Has got no strength. And a nation with no values other than their own values are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> 
Newspapers never stated clearly how many bags were burnt that day. Besides the burning, at least a dozen successful suicides were also reported. She was definitely a siren. I still have the newspaper cuttings. Her wings were soon cut off, and the area was quarantined, but the vulture showed him the way. I drank like a whore.